Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and for this video, I have a little mail to share with you, so you'll see what's in here, and I kind of wanted to talk about my Skimming Stones shawls progress. So the last video that I talked about this in was my sneaky giveaway video. Um, and that's where, after talking about my business, I popped in a sneaky giveaway. I may or may not do that again. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, but since then, I literally have frogged my skimming stone shawl three times, messaged the gal from the dabbling hook, maybe far more than she wanted, because <laughs> I knew she had talked about it. Um, but I think now I'm on track. Um, even though I, I, she didn't really have too much to say, you know how sometimes it's just, well, she so kindly offered for me to message her, and then she'd give me her cell phone and we could talk it out. But I think just by texting or writing in the comments my issues, it kind of got me back on track. So this is where I'm at. Um, this is the part that I ripped out like three times before I got it under control. And then here is the part that does the ripples. And then now I think I'm almost done with part three, which is that part up there. Now I am doing it all in solid color. I am not switching out the colors. I'm also using my last month's, my August Knit Crate yarn for it, the Indigo, um, I think it's called like Shibori. And actually after totaling up the yards, this, the two skeins that I got for the Knit Crate are just barely going to be enough. Um, so it's just a plain blue looking with, you know, those flecks of dark blue. My tip, if you're going to do this, is count, count, count. Now what I did the first few times is she will list what she wants you to do for the right side, one row, and then what she wants you to do from the wrong side row. And then she'll list work row one, and then next time she'll say work row two, then she'll say work two rows, work four rows. And I added up all the rows. I said, okay, this section is 10 rows. And I just did it. And the problem is, is somehow every row I'm losing a stitch. I don't know if I'm losing a stitch because of doing the chain and not going in right. You know how when you do your chains, you don't always go into that stitch? Or if I'm losing a stitch here because there's some double two stitches together or if I'm not going into the chain on the other side but somehow almost every row I have to refigure it um, but now like I said after frogging three times I'm just now finishing up part two so that's the skimming stones I like I said I suggest when you do this if you want to do this and buy the pattern off Ravelry one row at a time, count, count, count. And this is what I've been doing. I put my little sticky, there's these little tabs that you can get from like the, I don't know, like the binder section, <laughs> like in the school supplies. And I lay it right there so the color is right above where I'm gonna go. And then I move it with the next row. And that is how I go, row by row. And every time I do the wrong side row, I count. So this is not something you can do while you're just casually watching TV or sitting with a group of people and chatting because you're going to have to count every row. But it's moving along. So we'll see. That is my whip right there. The Skimming Stone Shawl. I feel like I've been working on it forever. And quite frankly, I can't wait for it to be done. Now for my yarn. Now this is off of Amazon. Just the other day, I ordered two things off of Amazon, so I'm pretty sure I know what it is. One, I needed more safety eyes because I have a craft show coming up in um, October that I wanted to plan. So I wanted to make a few more of my few more bunnies and bears, so I got some safety eyes. And the other thing I ordered, which is here. I'm super excited. So here are some safety eyes. 
and it looks like they gave me like a set of red eyes that's pretty crazy so I got more safety eyes which I'm pretty excited about and to be honest I really love these super cute cases they give you and this is the other big thing I got I am super pumped so there's two reasons why I got this and I can't even wait to show you one is because my darling child Flynn chewed on my 3.5 Clover Amore crochet hook. Um, these are my Clover Amores. Up till now, these are what I use exclusively and I love them. I bought some Hobby Lobby brand ones. Um, I bought the plain aluminum ones. I bought the ones at Walmart. I think they're boys. And one day I bought a Clover Amore. I think it was an H hook. And since then, I haven't looked back. I've been buying these one at a time, using my coupons for Joann's until I had a full set. Well, then my darling son chewed on it. And it still works, it still moves, but because there's like scratches in the, and I hate to use this word, but like this part here, the shaft or whatever, I can feel the yarn drag on it and it's really annoying. So I thought, you know, I could just go buy another 3.5 Clover or more, but then Zelda NJ3, I think that's how her YouTube channel is, she had sent a Yarny Goodness present to crow, the Canadian crotcheter, Debbie, and she sent her a tulip crochet hook. And I'm like, I've never heard of tulip crochet hooks. So I looked them up and I saw that Amazon had a complete set, well, not a complete, but you know, the basic ones, on sale or on their webpage or on, you know, whatever, on Amazon. And that is what I decided to buy myself, this right here. I don't know if in the other videos I mentioned, um, my husband and I helped clean the condos. We live in condominiums where you own your own unit, but you're part of a group. And we have a lot of neighbors that are older who hire out a lot of work. And so every once in a while, when my husband feels like it's something he can tackle, he'll volunteer to do it. And so he volunteered to clean out all of the gutters and they paid him and one day I was out there helping him and basically I was turning on and off the vacuum and he was he was shot vacuuming out the gutters and I was helping him you know move his ladder and all that kind of stuff and they paid me too and I was like woo, woo. <laughs> what can I buy with my money and I think I got something like a hundred and sixty dollars or something I was blown away I didn't expect any of it so I decided rather than just buying $160 worth of yarn, which we all know we can easily do because I'm still on a yarn timeout, I decided to make a long story short to buy some crochet hooks. So, whoops, as I'm throwing this one away, I decided to try the tulips. So here it is. This is the exact hook that my son broke, the 3.5. Um, I'm very surprised at the handle. It's plastic, but it's not like the same kind of plastic. These are like a, a spongy, cushiony plastic with a little bit of like rubber. Whereas this is like a hard plastic. And then of course it's gold. So here it is. I don't know if you can see that. That's the tulip. And oh, you can't see that at all. There is the hook very much like the look of the clover. Let's hold them side by side. So there they are. This one's a little bigger, this one's a four. And then if you turn them, it looks like, I don't know the difference between the inline or the slant, but it looks like they're the same. The same kind of head, nice rounded, which I like. Looks like the similar slant, inline versus tapered. But anyway, I'm very surprised. It's kind of a harder, firmer. Now the nice thing is this, uh, it has a little bow with yarn, is the, the set. Here they all are. I've got um, a 3 point, ooh, 3.25, interesting. Um, I might still need to get a new one. Nope, here we go, here's a 3.5, an E, so it goes a D, E, an F, 3.7, Five, a G. Then there's the my my second favorite hook of all time, the 4.5 or the seven because this is not 
an original hook size. And then there's a five, so an H, an I, and a J. A cute pair, well plain, pretty little pair of scissors that came in the set. And it looks like there's a little zipper pouch here. And here are two little needles, darning needles, and a firm plastic measuring device in inches. And this is the super cute case it came in, this nice silver case. Um, I'm guessing it wants you to fold it there. I don't know how they want you to fold it because it doesn't seem to be, or maybe they want you to roll it. Mm. Let's see. Yep, they do. They want you to kind of roll it. I don't know how I feel about that. So there it is. This was $40. So I think that's a very good deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks and a little case and some notions for $40. Um, I will start crocheting with them to see how I like the tulips. Um, they feel similar in weight to my Clover Amours. So that's that. That's what I got. My yarny, my mail was my tulip crochet hooks and my eyes. Otherwise, not much else is going on. Um, I did make a tutorial video for y'all where I was going to show you a stitch, and that was supposed to be my next video. However, while I was recording that video upstairs, plugging away, I guess I don't even really hear my kids sometimes, and I don't mean that in an unsafe way. <laughs> like I hear them, but I tune them out. And so as I was yakking away, crocheting, and talking in my video, I didn't really realize how loud my kids were, even though, because they were in the basement. And so through the whole video, you can just hear them. And I think it could have been distracting for anybody who was like trying to watch it and learn from it. So I scrapped it. I deleted the video and I'm going to do it again. It's just, even now today, I barely got some moment and my husband took the kids for a walk. So we'll try again. I'm sorry that that tutorial video did not get put up first before this one, but my kids were just screeching and hollering and I'm not even sure what they, they were actually were playing. They weren't like fighting, but it was horrendously loud. And I guess I just didn't hear it. I just was so focused on what I was saying <laughs> that I didn't even realize that they were losing it in the background and it would be very distracting. So, you'll have to wait for that. The one thing I'm noticing as I look at my video, do you see this cubby? It's filling up because of my knit crate. This is my good yarn. I've got some knit crates. I just caked up a bunch of these, my knit crates. So, I thought, hmm, as I was looking at the video, that looks really great. Well, that's it for this, this video, folks. I talked about my whip. When you're doing the skimming, sh skimming stone shawl, make sure you count, 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 count. Every row, you're going to have to keep track on and count. Because if you're not careful, you're going to lose it. And then I will do an official review on my tulip hooks. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until then, happy crafting.